Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna play a little bit around with the Huddleston 8 inch. We're gonna make it a little bit more realistic looking and we're gonna give them a little bit more action. And all what we need for this is a pot with hot water, pipe cleaners, red ones preferred, and a sharp knife, maybe some sizzlers and Gorilla Glue. So let's go jump right into it and I see you guys in the kitchen. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so first we're gonna bring the water to boil. I already bent uh, a paper clip and put it through the eye of the date because when we're done boiling it, we're gonna hang it just straight up, just like that. And let it cool down like this because we want the tail nice and straight and that's gonna help. So the water is boiling now and we're ready to boil the bait. So now we just dip the end of the lure in the boiling water. We don't want the whole um, body getting soft, just the, just the tail. We're gonna set the timer for like one minute. Leave me a comment down below who is boiling his frogs. So now we're done cooking, now we like to cool it down, hanging like this. Some of you guys know this probably from frog fishing. Some people boil their frogs to get them softer, to get a better um, hookup to landing ratio. And that's basically the same what we're right now doing. We wait now a little bit till it's cooled down and then it should be good. Let's go. So now we're gonna go over to the table and we're gonna add some gills. And we're also gonna upgrade the fins a little bit so they look a little bit more natural and beat up. Let's go over to the table and finish that thing. So now that's all what we need. The bait, red pipe cleaner, super glue. I got here that nice handmade Japanese knife. We didn't have anything smaller, so I'm gonna use this. And then a pair of sizzlers. So now we start with the gill plate and we cut in an angle all the way around here to be able to lift the gill plates. I start here. And then I go all the way around on the line. Just have to be careful because I sit a little bit far away here. And that knife is super, super sharp. I think if I cut my finger off with it, I don't even feel it. It's crazy. Okay, you don't want to go too deep. Now the other side. Okay, it should be enough just like that both sides best thing is you start here on the bottom stick it in there go all the way around and then cut i would leave like i would go till here and then cut off a little bit longer so you can use this part here and push it a little bit into the bait so it holds a little bit cut that here now the other side same thing stick that here on the top. That's how it looks like. I maybe cut a little bit too deep, but I think when I fill it up with, with super glue, it's gonna be just fine. Okay, we have it like this. So now we take the super glue, fill that all really nice up with the super glue. And because the super glue is, looks all nice and, and wet like real gills. So especially big bass, they try to save as much energy as possible so when they see a wounded fish that's <laughs> a better prey for them as like a fish what's like super healthy and when fish like having like their gills so far open and stuff and they're breathing it's basically like they're breathing really heavy yeah it looks to them like they're in trouble we let that dry now for a couple minutes and then we we flip it over and do the other side the one side is pretty much almost done it's not completely dry, but pretty much so we can work on the other side. But there you see, it looks like a real gill. Now we do this side. So I got it all in there nice and clean. I pushed it a little bit in the rubber here on top and on the bottom too, so it sticks by itself. But that's how it looks when there's no glue on it. So now we put again a lot of glue in there. You want that all really nice and wet. I pushed it a little bit down because I did it on the other side too and I want it pretty kind of
kind of like even i don't want to have that one sticking out super far and the other one is super flat and then they're like it's it runs off it's still a little bit wet but it's already a lot better so now we go ahead and cut a little bit into that fancy roll the one on the back those bows and just to make them look a little bit messed up and, and, and flattered so they look a little bit more beat up and, and natural and then we're gonna cut here a really nice cut and here or we try better so this fin here sticks out and it's moving when we're done so when those fins are moving a little bit it looks a lot more natural and then hopefully it triggers a bite so just cut here Ooh, the knife's so sharp you have to really be careful just cut a piece out so we try to leave it like natural as possible not we don't try to cut like crazy shapes out of it or something <laughs> so now look that's that's part is gonna be fluttering around in the current a little bit more torn up and then it's gonna have a lot more action when it's now sitting there it's like everything is like moving a little bit more and now we try to cut this really nice and clean out so now it's like really like a real fin you can see it you know from the top it's like moving around it looks a lot more natural so we're finally done that's how it all looks with the gills and all the fins are a little bit cut in so everything gets a lot more secondary movement by himself just from the current and that's a little bit just like because that fin is like maybe fluttering around in the current or like just because the fish is looking at it and it's moving because the fish is pushing so much water in front of him that itty bitty can trigger that bass to eat it and that's maybe your pp or not so that's for me today don't forget like subscribe and hit the notification button i'm out i see you guys next time peace